Hello! Uh, today I'm going to show you three different ways to alter a bikini top so that they don't uh, dig into your neck. So if you um, have ever purchased a bikini that um, ties at the neck, um, I think it's a little bit worse. The, um, I'm just going to be frank, the bigger your boobs are, the more it's going to kind of dig into your neck. And so uh, there are a couple, of, I was looking around and I found a couple of options with some higher end uh, sports tops. And I was like, you know, maybe I can change what I've got um, because I have quite a few bikini tops. Um, I actually wear bikini tops underneath, uh, say, uh, Nike uh, swimsuits because they don't have any uh, support in them. Uh, they don't have any bra shelf or anything of that nature, so I just kind of, I've given up and kind of decided to layer um, instead of trying to find necessarily always the perfect uh, swimsuit. I have a long torso, so it's a little bit hard to find a one piece, and I would like to be a little bit more toned before I wear a <laughs> two piece to this pool. So what I've uh, kind of resorted to is just layering a bikini top underneath a athletic top or athletic one piece that fits. Um, just because a majority, not all, uh, I actually wrote about a couple of different um, swimsuits on my blog, and uh, but a majority of, in particular when you go into the um, athletic swimsuits, a lot of them don't have any bra support in them, and sometimes that just feels a little wrong and awkward, and if you want to be working out instead of worrying about like what's going on with your swimsuit, uh, <laughs> you just figure out what works for you. So what works for me is wearing a bikini top underneath my um, regular swimsuit. And so to adjust these, I've got three different ver versions. Um, the first one is no sew. And what you do is you start with uh, a bikini top that has the um, strings. And it's usually going to be a triangle bikini top. And these can move to the front. Uh, the cups can move to the front. And that's key here in the no sew because what you're going to do is the back is now going to be the front and the front is now going to be the back and what you're going to eventually do is tie your bow in the front um, instead of in the back because then what you have the option to do is instead of tying just at your neck and having that uh, kind of dig in back there you're going to tie one and then you're going to loop that through the back and then going to tie below the back and then that way you have something that actually kind of goes further down your back and doesn't sit on your neck. So that's the first one that's the no so that's the fastest, um, but what is a little bit better even is to, again, you're going to make the front the back and the back the front, and you're going to be tying your swimsuit in the front in a bow. And so what you do then is you cut your back, you create two little loops and sew your neckties together. And I'm going to have uh, diagrams about on this on my blog so that you can kind of get a little bit better uh, sense of exactly where you cut and where you sew. Um, I managed to, I, ha I sometimes keep like old bras just so that I can have some of the pieces off of them for sewing and this is uh, a piece off of an old bra. And what that does is it just kind of keeps the strings a little bit more organized so that like when you're trying to get it on, you're not trying to figure out, okay, well, is this the right side or the left side? That just kind of helps it a little bit in this particular case. So I have those two. Uh, the second one was sewing, and then I have a third one that's sewing. And this one is the only instance where the back does not become the front. This is a tie neck halter sort of deal. And you can see here, what I've done is it looks like um, you basically cross the back here. And uh, where you had back ties, you're going to cut those off and sew those to the neck ties. And then where you cut the, the back ties off, you sew a little loop here to be able to take your now extra long neck ties uh, all the way through so that you can tie it at the back. And again, I'll have a diagram of this so you can kind of tell uh, that it goes through the sides now and you have a sort of crisscross thing going on here. And this one I did not do a loop because of the, the, the way the fabric was. Um, and 
this may not be too terribly pretty, because but that part of that has to do with the fact that uh, the back ties were actually a lot bigger than the neck ties, and I didn't want to have to you know I didn't want to take the whole thing apart. I just decided to go with the quick and easy route, and did like a zigzag stitch, used a sewing machine zigzag stitch, uh, folded over a lot here. Um, I think the other side was even long here. Yeah. I folded over like a couple times. I folded over on this side and then I folded over on that side to get it sort of the same size. But I really doubt anybody's going to notice that at the pool. And it just really pretty much looks like that when you have it on. Um, if you have any questions for me, let me know. But uh, that is three options for uh, sewing, or in the first case, not sewing, adjusting, making alterations to a swimsuit top so that it's not uh, digging into your neck. Hope it helps.